Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and toy collectors, it's your good pal Oz here and today we're going to be reviewing the Lego minifigures series 16. Now this is a limited edition series 16. I think the normal ones are up to about series 19 or 18 by now uh, but these ones all cover the DC Comics characters and it's just a bunch of characters from different times, different comics which kind of haven't really shown up regularly in normal sets. There's nothing really on the back but like it's easy to get different back Batmans and Supermans from like the Lego Batman movie set or just from various Lego sets you may buy over the years so this one has like kind of fills lots of gaps and lots of characters you may not normally see and uh, forgive me if you hear me kind of chuckling every so often but there's a bunch of crows on the tree right outside my window and I think that they're making some sort of romance happening outside so uh, if you can hear some crows being very loud then uh, yeah, I wish them luck. Good, good job, crows. Now, anyway, let's start opening up these minifigures. Um, and now I don't know which ones there are, and I've only got six at the moment because it's a little bit late on the game. I've been holding onto these ones for a while, I'm hoping to do a treasure hunt or something like that. But uh, it's not happening too busy over Christmas, uh, so we'll just open up now. But if you guys like this video, if there's enough likes, then I'll buy heaps more and we'll uh, review heaps more. Maybe even go through the whole box. Uh, but yeah, it depends on if you guys want to see more because I'm a little bit late on the game, that's all. Now, this first character looks like it is Superman. Yeah, oh, because I've got his cape here, of course, it's Superman. Now, uh, let's change the camera and we can have a closer look at him. Okay, now, here we go. And Mr. Crow is gone, so we're safe. You don't have to, don't have to listen to that nonsense anymore. Now, we have... There's quite a few little accessories, and I've heard about this cool little, uh, kind of pig, it looks like, which you can put into... Hmm, how would you use this? I was hoping you could put it into there. Oh, there we go. There is... So if you wanted to do like cool poses, you could put that in there. Whoops, things are falling down. And then you put that into there. And then once you want to like make Superman in a weird pose, you can uh, use that. So anyway, first we'll put them together. So far so good. Put the cape on. And I can see he also comes with a newspaper, which we'll check out in a second. Okay, whoa, he's got like angry face. And hopefully he's got a happy face as well. There we go, happy normal face. So we'll put that, we'll check out the angry face a bit better. There we go, that was a little bit quick. That's a pretty intense angry face. Now put his hair on here. Looking good. Now he's got a few different features compared to the normal Superman. I'll show you the previous Superman I, like that, that you could get in different sets. Um, so he's got like different kind of abs. It's got a bright yellow belt, doesn't have any kind of leg patterns, see like that one does. And this face is pretty much the same, like interchangeable, and the hair looks fairly interchangeable as well. Like you wouldn't know the difference if you swapped them. Yeah, so get rid of him. Now he is awesome. Now if you want to use this new kind of pig thing, we can do rad poses. So for instance, we'll put him in a flying pose. And look at that, how cool is that? Why didn't they make that sooner? So that's very cool. One last look. Yeah, I'm loving that. Okay. Oh, newspaper. Let's check out the articles. I always like these because they always say kind of interesting things. So, Caped Wonder Stunt City. And there's like a very, very uh, basic picture. It looks like a Superman catching a plane. That's what it is. Yeah, he's catching a plane. That's cool. And on the back, it's just like a normal kind of flat rectangle. Make him hold the newspaper just for ease. And we'll put them, oh, let's put them there for now. Now, so we'll, oh, let's check out all the other guys you can get in this set. I keep forgetting, this is the first time I've seen this set. Now, this is cool, this is like a little poster, I like it. Okay, so the first ones you can see, is that looks like Mr. Miracle, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Stargirl, I think that is. Green Lantern, but it looks like maybe Jon Stewart Green Lantern. I'm just not sure about that mask. Superman, Cheetah, Sinistro. We got cool looking Cyborg there. Um, retro Batman, or, or I don't know about retro, but a cool looking Batman. Uh, Huntress, that looks like Two-Face maybe? No, I don't know who that guy is. He looks pretty awesome. He looks like a big mixture of different things. Um, oh, what's that guy's name? Oh, I can't remember his name. Let me know in the comments if you know his name. Um, 
He's like a kind of Flash as well. I can't remember his name either. All these old characters I don't see very often. Uh, Bumblebee, I think her name is, and then the Joker, but he's kind of a different style Joker. Very cool, very cool. Okay, and then on the back, just shows you some assembly instructions for some of the more unique characters. Uh, cool, okay, so that's that. Now let's go on to the next one. Now like I was mentioning earlier, let me know by uh, either in the comments below or by clicking the thumbs up like button if you want me to um, open more of these because I'm happy to buy more and open them. Um, I just want to make sure you guys want them <laughs> before I make videos on things you don't want. So yeah, let me know if you want more and I'll make more. Now this looks like that kind of flash guy, I can't remember his name. I keep wanting to say Mr. Minute but I don't think that is correct, I don't know where I'm getting that name from. I have seen him in like Flash videos though, or, or working with Flash. Okay, now there we go. There's his hat. Now he also comes with a cool stand, but two of these little pegs this time. He's got something on his back, so let's quickly do that. There we go. Put that there. And now there was a picture showing us how to do this thing on his back. So I don't really know what it's used for. Oh, lightning bolts. There we go. He's got lightning bolts coming out of his back. Okay, that makes it easier. We'll just get him standing normally for now while we assemble him. Stick these lightning bolts in his back. We'll make them kind of upright like that. Got to make them match. There we go. Put his cool hat on. And now, uh, since we, uh, we it comes with a spear lightning bolt, which is handy. Now. We have to make him look like he's running. It is too cool otherwise. But um, it, it comes with like a spare one of those display pegs because I don't really see how you could use two of this character. But anyway, we'll put him in a running pose. Looking cool. How's that? <laughs> Very good. Okay, we'll put him next to Superman. Maybe we'll make him run sideways. Uh, I don't know, close enough, looking good. Now next one, we'll put the spare pieces over there. Now hopefully we don't get any double ups. I kind of just had to grab these and run so I wasn't able to squeeze the bags. But we might get lucky. Okay, here we go, we got Green Lantern. And let me know in the comments below if I was correct when I'm thinking this is Jon Stewart Green Lantern. Okay now we gotta have a look here. So he's got a lantern, put in all the different, I'm, I'm guessing these go like this. It looks kind of common sense that that should go like that. You can see at the right angle that it's got like the lantern pattern on those kind of flat discs at the end. Looking cool. Uh, he has some of these which I guess you would usually... It's kind of like he's holding a ring if you wanted to... Oh, maybe. Maybe if you wanted to have him using his power you could put one of those like that. Anyway, let's put his head on. Ah, where's it gone? Okay, there we go. So yeah, that looks kind of cool and he could be holding his lantern with the other hand. I kind of make a point of not watching other people watch this. You, may, I mean open, open toys and you may have noticed that now that I'm kind of working it out with you as we go. That's kind of good, that's kind of simulating your experience if you were opening these for the first time. Okay, now there we go. Now move all those spears over there. And next one. We've got three left. I find these ones easier to peel at the back. Just because that top bit is so thick. I don't know why. Um, now this one, again, looks like a different, new, unique character. Okay, now let's build them. I don't know what this guy's name is. So if you can, let me know in the comments below who it is. Because, yeah, I have no idea. I have never seen this character in any of the comics or TV shows. He looks cool, like he's got a see-through kind of translucent leg there. We'll give him his face first. His face looks like it could be the Joker's face. Oh, it's got some extra lines around it. Like, yeah, he's kind of cool looking. So one leg looks like it's mud. The other leg looks like it's ice. And then he's kind of got weird kind of pink scaly body there. Other half looks like it could have fur on it. Yeah, it looks like a big uh, mishmash, a big jumble. But I really love that leg and all the detail on it. That is cool. And even like the side of the legs, that's kind of rare to see the side of the legs have patterns. So that's really interesting. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. This guy's cool. I just wish I knew who he is. So let me know in the comments below 
who he is. Since he's got that cool kind of icy foot, I'm going to put him in a pose of some sort. Uh, let's put that there. I kind of just want to show you the versatility of those discs too. So we will put that there. So he's kind of like he's <laughs> doing a weird kind of jump. There we are. <laughs> just to show that you can also stick it in the bum sections. There you go. Oh, watch out Superman. Okay, now next up we have... Hopefully not a double up. No, we do. We got another Green Lantern. Okay, let's quickly stick him together. Oh, I'm missing legs. How to get. Okay, cool. Now let's go with him. No special capes or anything to slot on. Does he have two faces? No, just one face. Okay, now this time I'm just going to put the lantern bits on both sides this time. And that's... Oh, we'll put him put with his pals, just in a normal position. And on to the next one. We don't waste too much time on double ups. Now, finally, our final guy is a new, unique one. Oh, who is it? Oh, it's Stargirl. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't know too much about Stargirl either. I know it's just, it's weird. It's like her powers come from her staff. Uh, and it's kind of really abstract what her powers are so I've never really been able to kind of pin down exactly who she is or what she can do uh, but she is fairly cool fairly powerful uh, but I think she's just like a normal girl until she grabs the staff and then it gives her some sort of like cosmic powers what Starman I think Starman gave her his magic staff gave her special powers um, but there she is there we'll spin her around again she's got like a pattern on her leg which is rare a uh, nice pattern on her back. We'll pull her hair off so you can see her better. Whoa! She's got another face! <laughs> Very cool. Stars on the side of her arm. And what face is better? We'll just do... Just do a little smirky smile face. There we go. I thought Stargirl had uh, straight hair, but maybe I'm wrong. Especially with DC, they change their characters so often and what powers they have. It's kind of hard to keep up. Okay, there we go. We got Stargirl. And we won't do her in any sort of fancy pose. But she also came with two of these cool pigs. Okay, there we go. So let's have a closer look at who we found. So, starting over here on the left, we have Stargirl. We got uh, Green Lantern. Now, I had a quick look. His name is Metamorpho, which is really awesome. I still don't know much about him, but I know his name is Metamorpho. And this gentleman here, he was the original Flash. Um, back when the Flash started up, I think in the 50s. So that's what Flash used to look like. Uh, now, up here, we got Superman. Whoa! Superman and we got our second Green Lantern next to him kind of like showing off what you can do with his ring there now uh, Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button There's my thumb there um, I kind of really hope you do like it and want to see more because I want to have reason to collect more of these um, And also subscribe if you have not yet already subscribed uh, But guys until I see you next time have a great week take care of yourself and I will catch you later